Hey everybody, MotorPoet59 here. I'm talking a little bit about science today. Have you noticed that uh, over the last 20 years, especially over the last 20 years, probably a little longer than that, that everything that comes down the pike has science behind it. We have science to back up these numbers. We have science to back up our position. And uh, for me, the first that I really remember about this happening was in 1974 and I know that was a lot, a lot more than 20 years ago but uh, everybody knows I love dirt bikes the second race I ever raced was the 1974 Barstow to Vegas and there were people who said they found rabbits and squirrels around the starting area of that race where 1500 bikes at a time took off there were three three thousand bikes all in all in that race and that they found squirrels and rabbits with ruptured eardrums really you went out there and caught these rabbits and squirrels and you just happened to find the ones that had ruptured eardrums but in the end that was proven to not be true it was a lie from the environmentalists who wanted to shut down the desert who wanted to keep uh, motorcycle riders from using the desert S skip ahead to 2000 and uh, global warming when it really started becoming a uh, something that being talked about and 97 percent of scientists agree that global warming is an issue that turned out to be bs 97 percent of scientists did not agree with global warming. as a matter of fact probably 97 percent of all real scientists pure scientists probably disagreed with it and when you know when you have uh, leading environmentalist people guys I, I can't remember these people's names uh, one of them was one of the leading environmentalists in the United States or in the world I can't remember Michael something was his name and you had the the, the uh, I he was the president of Greenpeace gosh I wish I had taken a few more minutes to look this up but it just popped into my head you got these guys saying there's, there's no such thing as global warming, and climate change is not our biggest issue as true environmentalists. This is not our biggest issue. We have many other problems that we need to deal with and can deal with right now that we need to take care of. And we will deal with uh, climate change at another time if it becomes necessary. But they don't even seem to think it's going to become necessary. But everyone is still talking. As a matter of fact, I was going to say they were talking about global warming. They don't even call it global warming anymore. Now it's climate change. Of course there's climate change. Climate change goes back to the beginning of recorded history and trees and rocks and geology. It goes all the way back as far as we can see that it goes back by things that are still around, like rocks and fossilized trees and fossils of animals we know that climate change happens. It's a natural occurrence. It's a natural cycle. Are we speeding things up? I don't think so. And neither do the leading climatologists and neither do the leading environmentalists. Those who do believe that it is a big deal right now are the media and the activists. But anyway, it doesn't matter what group it is. It doesn't matter if it has to do with the environment. It doesn't matter what it has to do with doesn't matter if it has to do with sexuality or race or gender. It doesn't make any difference. Everybody who is in a group of people say the same thing. Oh, there's science to back this up. Oh, is there? COVID, that's a great example. Oh, there's science to back up masks. No, there wasn't. There was absolutely, positively zero science to back up whether masks did or didn't do any good. There was no science and is no science to prove that the vaccinations worked or haven't worked. There hasn't been enough time for science to get a grip on this. Science doesn't happen overnight. And science happens, true science, true scientific discovery and advancement happens when we start asking questions, not when we stop asking them. People can't just say there's science to back this up and leave it there. You have to ask questions and it doesn't matter what it is. But COVID is the biggest example I can think of in my lifetime where both sides were wrong about science. And it, I can't even say that they were wrong as much as they didn't know. But depending on which side you were on, you pushed the science you wanted to believe and you wanted to, it to stop there and you didn't want any more questions asked. You just wanted to be right. And that's not the way science works. See those two books behind me there? I love astronomy. I have an 8-inch Schmidt-Kassman telescope. 
I have only used it a couple of times since I've moved to Bakersfield in the mid 90s. It's uh, I have to drive a hundred miles to get clear skies and light free skies to use it, but I still love it and I've been into it since the early 80s. Those are books of science. Those are books of astronomy and books of astrophysics. Those books, there's no speculation in those books. They talk about things that have been proven and theories that actually have science behind them. There's nothing in either of those books that is guesswork. There's nothing in there where they say, we think this is what happens. Now, there are plenty of things where astrophysics is concerned where we say, we think that wormholes might be able to be stabilized. We think we might be able to achieve light speed, but there's no science behind those. There's only theories. And those books really don't discuss theories. And theories are cool as long as you continue to pursue them through science and figure out whether or not they're feasible, whether or not they, they will or won't work. And until you get there, there's no science behind anything other than the pursuit of science. And I'm okay with the pursuit of science. I'm okay with the pursuit of science where COVID is concerned, where the uh, vaccines are concerned. I'm, I'm okay with that as long as we keep pursuing it and stop pretending that we're right just because we want to be right. Uh, just because we disagree with the other side. Stop asking questions. That's not how science works. That's not how we figure things out. That's not how problems are solved using science. You, that you can't use guesswork. You can't use opinions and you can't use politics to create science. It just doesn't work that way. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Shoot me an email at motorport 59 at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe, click on the bell. If you want to be notified of future content, we'll see you all later.